Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to turn a 10 pound into a flash 10. Make sure that your girlfriend doesn't use this one. Or is it this one? In order to make a flash 10 pound, you will need ice cold water, a glass jar, and two ingredients. Now, don't be afraid if you don't have these ingredients at home, I'm going to explain. The first you need is sulfuric acid, 98% concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, there are mainly two ways you can get this acid. Either you can buy it, but usually it's hard to find 98% sulfuric acid. So the option you have is either to buy it as some drain opener that you can find at Lowe's or at the Home Depot but uh, that drain opener will be polluted so there's a, uh, there's a way to remove all the pollution that is in it so for this look in the description of this video you will see a link where I explain how to do it another possibility is to directly make sulfuric acid by uh, electrolysis of copper sulfate you can buy copper sulfate at the home depot it's uh, very cheap uh, and it's very easy to make an electrolysis in order to turn it into sulfuric acid so again look in the description of this video for my tutorial on how to do that the the other ingredient is even harder to find online i mean it's hard to buy it what you need is 95% nitric acid. So why is it hard to find it online? Well, first, it's, it's relatively expensive. And if you find it online, usually it has a concentration of only 60 or 70%. And uh, most of the time, the seller will only sell it to professional chemists. So what is the turnaround? Again, look in the description of this video I explain how to make 95% nitric acid from household product so it's very easy to to make it yourself okay so from now I'm going to assume that you have these two ingredients and now what we are going to do is to um, pour to measure 30 milliliters of nitric acid so here i'm going to use this measuring cylinder uh, if you don't have this uh, 30 milliliters i guess it's uh, about one fluid ounce uh, you may want to check this online okay now be careful because nitric acid is very nasty make sure you don't breathe those fumes okay it's very bad very nasty sulfuric acid on the other hand is very stable at room temperature so it's not volatile so we are going to pour the nitric acid into this uh, dish and put it in the ice cold bath Then we are going to measure 50 mils of sulfuric acid. All right. Pour slowly the sulfuric acid into the nitric acid and you have to do it slowly because this is going to generate a lot of heat so sometimes the, the acid may instantly boil and make projections so you don't want this in your eyes of course all right so now this mixture is probably getting very hot let me take my thermometer 
first stir and well it's hard to see with my thermometer but temperature is getting high so what you want to do is to wait for the temperature to go down around 15 degrees celsius okay so well let the thing rest and be patient all right so after 30 minutes the mixture reach a temperature that is about 15 degrees celsius so now it is ready we can use it so take your tampon put it in the mixture and here I can use my thermometer to push it make sure that it absorbs the, the acids okay. don't press too much on it all right and well at this point all we have to do is to wait 30 minutes for the nitration to complete okay so it has been 30 minutes uh, you see that the string is broken it didn't survive the acid so grab the tampon And here, I didn't mention it, I'm using vinyl gloves. Uh, make sure that you don't use latex because otherwise they will catch on fire when they enter in contact with the nitric acid. Okay. So, take the tampon. Squeeze it. You want to keep this mixture so that you can use it for something else. So squeeze it as much as you can and then put it in the water to dilute the acid. Okay. And now my glove is here getting warm so I guess it didn't really withstand the acid so now what you can do is to put some baking soda in order to neutralize the remaining acid so you see there's a reaction don't add too much soda at once, otherwise it will overflow. But add some until it no longer reacts. So you see how strong this acid is it needs a lot of baking soda in order to neutralize it and finally when there's no more reaction you can safely 
Put your hand and squeeze. I mean, it still makes bubbles, but it's just the reaction of the baking soda with the water. Okay, as long as there is still, you see, there's still some baking soda left, that means that it is not being consumed by the acid. So now, the all the acid has been neutralized and now what you want to make what you want to do is just to rinse this with clear water in order to remove the baking soda so just uh, run the faucet on it squeeze it a few times and your flash tampon will be ready so I rinsed the baking soda and now uh, you want to unfold this and lay it on a plate that you can leave in the sun okay and let it dry naturally don't try to use uh, air dryer otherwise it may catch on fire spontaneously so just leave it in the sun like this all right so i let the cotton dry for over 24 hours make sure that it's really dry otherwise it won't work here I put it back together there was no real reason to do so but it's just to show that it still looks the same as the original tampon and I added the string which was broken by the acid so now let us see how it works so I'm going to take it out All right and fold it And, well, let's see. Wow! It completely burned without leaving any ash. So that's what flash cotton is. There, were, there was actually no real reason for using a tampon. You can use cotton balls. Uh, I chose to use a tampon because it allowed me to make a title for my video that was appealing. Okay? So this is how we make flash cotton now you may wonder what you can do with this flash cotton well it's open to your imagination personally i use it in order to make some magic tricks like this one you can also use it in order to throw fireballs if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and register to my channel so that you will get updates when I post some new videos. Also, I would appreciate if you can share it on your social network such as Facebook. Thanks for watching.